I really don't know how to dress according to my body shape and my style personality. All I want to do is create a positive first impression. How can I enhance my personal image and my appearance? Hi everyone, my name is Nidhi and today we will be talking about personal image. We are our own personal brand and that is why today I'm going to focus on a couple of things. First and foremost, we're going to talk about some usual theories around personal image, uh, the ABCs and of course we're going to talk about the CBA as well, something that you might not have heard. Let's get started. Well, personal image, of course, from the perspective of ABC, how people perceive us is about appearance, number one. Number two, body language. And number three, communication skills. So what is appearance? Appearance is how people look at us or the first impression that they form of, form of us, you know, when they're actually looking at us. So uh, for all of you who are probably looking at me right now, I'm sure you're looking at this vibrant red color that I'm wearing, the vibrant red lipstick that I have. And there's a reason for it. Do you guys actually know that when you wear the color red, it not just personifies confidence, but at the same time, it attracts people. And that's why I chose to wear this color in this particular video today. So that is why when people see what you wear, your appearance in terms of how do you project yourself helps you to build that connection. Number two, body language. Yes, of course, I could be sitting here and talking to you for another 15, 20 minutes. But then if I have a sulky face, if I don't have that smile, if I don't have that spark, if I don't have that passion in my eyes, most likely you guys are not going to be listening to me for another 10 minutes or so. I need to build that connection with my body language at the same time. So that is why when it comes to your personal image, it's really important to focus on the body language that you're projecting. And last but not the least, communication skills. Well, I could be projecting a great body language. I could be wearing amazing clothes. But if I really don't know what I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure you're not going to watch this video till the end. So that is why when you are having that interpersonal communication, it's really important to know what you're saying, your choice of words. How do you intonate? How do you use your tone of voice plays a really, really important role. So now that we've talked about the ABCs, which I'm pretty sure you all must be familiar with, I want to reveal the secret to you about the CBA that I was referring to at the start of the video. Well, C refers to confidence. Now, you could be the best orator in the world. You probably know everything that you want to say. But if you don't have the confidence, if you don't believe in yourself, which is the next thing that we're going to talk about, you don't have the confidence in, in what you want to do, what you're doing, you will never be able to put your thoughts across. And that is really, really important. B, believing in yourself. You might not have the ability to impress people with your personal image at all times, but do you believe in yourself? Well, there have been times that people have called me black, people have called me ugly, but did that stop me from becoming a social media influencer? No. And third and the most important thing is the ability to know what your true strengths are. What is your unique personality that you can bring to the table? Because that is where you will build that connection. So how do we enhance our personal image? Well, there are definitely a lot of elements as we've just spoken about, but for now, we are going to focus on one of the most important aspects, which is appearance from the perspective of what do you wear? Because that will allow you to make that positive first impression. And when we talk about what we wear, we will be focusing on the two main elements which will decide how people perceive you based on your body shape and based on your style personality. Why do we need to dress according to our body shape? Well, there could have been a time that you might have walked into a store and you really like something, but when you actually pick it up, you realize it doesn't look good on you. That is because it does not blend with your body shape. Now, to dress according to your body shape is all about illusion and balance. So today I'm going to share with you six different body shapes for women and five different body shapes for men. For women, the six different body shapes are rectangle, oval, triangle, inverted triangle, hourglass, and the figure eight. And for men, it is oval, triangle, rectangle, rhomboid, and inverted triangle. It's really, really important to first of all, identify what body shape do you have to be able to understand what clothes will look good on you. So I am considered a pear shaped or a triangle shaped body. Let's understand how. I have fuller hips. 
or a fuller thighs. But at the same time, I have a defined waist. And if you look at my shoulders, my shoulders are actually narrower in comparison to my hips. So this makes me a triangle shape or a pear shaped body. Now, obviously, all of us are built differently according to our bone structure and that is why we all have different body shapes. So I'm gonna share with you for a pear shaped or a triangle shape, uh, shaped body, what exactly should you wear so that it enhances that personal image of yours. Go for something that will help you enhance the upper body. Something that has prints and patterns, that'll be fantastic. Go for something that actually pays or brings attention to your shoulders. You could wear ruffle tops or you could wear structured uh, uh, jackets which has like a defined shoulder pad and things like that. You can even go for horizontal lines when you're wearing something on the top because that is going to balance out your upper body in comparison to your lower body. When it comes to the bottom, you can actually go with darker shades or maybe just, you know, straight pants or, you know, uh, straight uh, A-line skirts because that will bring very less attention to the lower part of your body because that is what exactly you want to do. You want to focus all the attention on the top part of your body. So once again, the information that I shared with you is for someone who is a pear-shaped body like me. But if you are a different body shape, Go ahead and uh, do a quick Google search. There's a lot of information out there as to how you can identify what body shape you are. And once you've done that, go ahead and find out what are some of the do's and don'ts. What should you wear? What should you not wear to get, create that balance and illusion uh, to be able to look good and feel good. And now it's time to focus on the second element when it comes to appearance based on what we wear, which is what we call your style personality. Now, you might actually pick up the best clothes based on your body shape, but if it doesn't resonate with who you are, what your style personality is, trust me, you're gonna look awkward, you're not gonna feel great, and that is something you definitely don't wanna do. So what is style personality? It is nothing but the expression that you wanna create with what you wear, what your style is at the end of the day. So let me share with you seven style expressions which have been identified by most researchers. Number one, Classic. Number two, feminine when it comes to female and romantic when it comes to male. Number three, dramatic. Number four, natural. Number five, elegant. Number six, sexy. And number seven, creative. So, any guesses? What is my style personality? Well, I am a feminine style personality, which means when I want to express myself with what I wear, I want to demonstrate openness. I want to demonstrate cooperation. And that is what a feminine style is all about. But at the same time, I want to feel confident with what I wear. So the kind of clothes that I would pick up would definitely have some feminine touches to it. I would want to wear something uh, which is not too bright, but at the same time really helps me express myself. So at this point in time, let me show you how you can wear the best clothes based on your body shape but if you don't demonstrate the style personality, it can actually become really awkward. And at the same time, if you combine the concept of body shape with your style personality, how you can make a powerful first impression and enhance your personal image at the same time. So, as you can see, I am wearing a nice green color ruffle top. This is to bring all the attention to my shoulders. Remember, I'm a pear-shaped body, so I wanna wear something that brings attention to the top part of my body, and I'm pairing it up with a white, pants. Now, this is amazing because obviously this looks really good based on my body shape. It's doing the work that it needs to do to enhance my personal image. But does it really resonate with who I am? Does it really resonate with my style personality? Remember I spoke about I'm someone who's feminine. Now, let me show you just by changing my top and changing the jacket that I'm wearing, but still working with my body shape, how I can create that feminine style expression that I really want to convey. So, as you can see, I'm still wearing the white pants, but this time I'm actually wearing a green cowl neck top. Now, this is the feminine side of me. I actually don't like, like wearing that really covers my neck because when my neck is open, that, that makes me feel that I'm really open, I'm confident. But at the same time, I'm actually pairing this with a jacket. And as you can see, there is a lot of work on my jacket. It really brings attention to the top part of my body. This makes me feel like as if I'm the boss, if I'm gonna walk into a networking or a business meeting event. And that is what I wanna convey at the end of the day. So, here you go, guys. 
working with your body shape together with your style personality is going to enhance the personal image at the same time creating that perception that you want people to have of you but at the same time having that perception that you have of you because you've got to work with these two together at the end of the day to be able to create that positive impression with your personal image so just in case of you still wondering how to find your personality all this information is also available on google all you need to do is a small google search by saying style personalities and you'll have a huge database of what kind of style personality you are uh, it will give you details of uh, your style personality based on your profession based on what kind of clothes do you like what kind of expressions do you want to have when you are uh, you know in social settings or personal settings at the end of the day so go ahead and do that because as i said you definitely want to combine your style personality with your body shape to be able to create that positive first impression with your personal image when it comes to your appearance when you're working with what to wear uh, in a social or a non-social setting so this brings us to the end of the video although there is so much more that I want to share with all of you because when it comes to personal image we all know there are so many things that we can talk about but I'm really glad that we could actually touch on the most important aspect which is your appearance and I really hope uh, that you all find value in this video and the most important thing take action so go ahead and find out what is your body shape what is your style personality and how you can combine both of them together and use it uh, to make that powerful positive first impression even if you're an entrepreneur going for an interview, a workplace, your relationship, whichever social non-social non setting that you're in, go ahead and try it out and do let us know what has been your experience. Do go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, do like and share this video, of course. And if you want to stay connected with me, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay connected with me on Facebook as well. Uh, I'm an interview specialist and I have also prepared a personal image interview check for all of you which is available on my website you can get access to it absolutely free all the links are in the description below please go ahead and check it out and last but not least please go ahead and subscribe to ideas and inspiration if you haven't done that and go ahead and press the notification bell so that you can be updated when the next video comes out so that's it for today folks this is Nidhi here signing out stay handsome stay pretty and most important stay safe